Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play and Chill with uh, Joker. We are in Ding Dong Well, underneath Ding Dong Dell, trying to find a way out of the waterway. Now the map says we need to go that way, so of course we are going to go this way. So what have we got down here? Ooh, level 3 Skeleplasm. Two of them. Assume it's two of them, yeah, yeah. Alright, let's get in there. Watch your backs! Watch your front too. Ooh, ooh. Oh, yeah, I should have blocked there. Yeah. Alright, this is the flaming broadsword. Uh, yeah, flaming broadsword we got last time. I like it. Okay, pebble and nuggets some gilders. Lovely, lovely. What do we got here? Another one, nugget. Lots of treasure chests. This was an excellent idea to come down here. Where are we on this one? Uh, a cutlass, okay. Uh, I'm not sure if that'll be any better than the stuff we've got. Uh, let's have a look. No, 32, that's a new one. Okay, no ability on it. Ah, okay, so the ones that are in, that have a colour on them, they have the abilities on them. Apart, well, maybe not, because that one has it too. Alright, I don't know how to tell then. Hmm. I wonder what the colours actually mean then. Okay, I'll figure that out at a later date. But okay, we're not, we're not going to equip that now. So what about these two? Uh, a sixth sensor. Okay. And another thesaurus. Let's have a look at what's that sixth sensor. There we go. A pot of enchanted incense surrounded by curls of mist restores magic power. Okay, cool. Um, slightly improves physical defense. Fills you up a little. Okay, so HP, MP, and increased defense. Got it. Okay. Uh, are we at hey. full? Yeah, we're at full. Feel that breeze? There must be a way out up ahead. You reckon? Uh oh. Uh oh. What in the? Oh dear. I have you now. The Black Knight, Mausinger's merciless man at arms. You ready for this? Oh boy. Okay, here we go. We can do this. Ooh. Ah, just a little late getting that block in. Okay, okay, we can do this. We can do this. Is he... Oh yeah, even with blocking, it still sends us flying. Ooh, that was blocked. Okay. Uh, let's try this. Oh, man, he still got me. Okay, this could be a problem. Okay, that's better. Got the block in at least. Still sends us flying. Oh, okay. Timing's going to take a bit to get down, but we'll get there. You just want a breather? Is he done? Doesn't look good. Uh, right. Here goes nothing. Okay. Uh, let's. Roland. That was very good. Uh. Okay, okay, so we can... Ah, oh, we can... If we hold L1 and do that, we can sort of evade. Okay, okay, I didn't quite understand that last time. Uh, what's he doing? So let's try that again. Is he going to come at us? Come at us, bro. Okay, good, good, good. Ah, missed him. Okay, got the good, good. Good. Oh boy. Uh, did I die? So I said let's mage be left. Uh, look out! Ah, uh, uh, Nella, you're okay. Nella! Oh no! no. Oh, good shot. Nella! Damn it, oh, man. We 
Wake up, Nella. Please wake up. Heaven. You'll be a wonderful king. But... No one could ever replace your mother. But... In our time together, I have... I've come to think of you as... I know, Nella! I, I know! I had hoped... I would live to see it. To see you grow into the ruler. I know you will be. But... I can't! I can't do it! Not without you! I just... I can't! Of course you can. You have a good heart, Evan. I can see it. You'll be the kindest king, with the happiest subjects there have ever been. Aranella! You have to be strong, Evan. You have to build a kingdom where everyone can live happily ever after. No. Nella! Don't leave me! Nella! 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 I'll, I'll do it. I'll try. For you, Nella. We'll build a new kingdom. Everyone can be happy. I hear something this way, uh, is it there? Evan, we have to leave. Uh, Nella! What's the matter, Evan? You look sad. I... I lost someone special. Someone I thought would always be there. Oh, that is sad. But for every ending, there's a new beginning, you know? Really? Of course. You lost someone special, but you also met someone new, didn't you? And you'll be making lots more new friends very soon. <laughs> who knows? You may even meet someone who really will be there forever. Which isn't to say things will be easy. Life is never that simple. The beginnings and endings, the hellos and goodbyes, Every step on the journey comes with its own challenges and rewards. I suppose. <laughs> Listen to me talking like a wise old man. Sorry, these aren't my words. They're someone else's. Someone very special. Who? Um... I have to go now, but I'll come and visit you again soon, all right? Bye! Wait! Hey. Finally awake, huh? Hmm. I had a... Very strange dream. Not a nightmare, I hope. Alrighty. Where are you going? To clear my head. I need to feel the wind on my face. Come on, let's have a little talk. Oh! Uh, Alright. Okay, go to Roland. Wow, I I love the animation of this. This is this just looks wonderful. Okay, all right, let's go. Uh, let's go speak to Roland. Wow. 
Well now. So I really am in another world. There's no ding dong dell where I come from, and no view like this either. Gosh. What's it like where you're from? Huh. Hmm. I guess it's ahead of this world in some ways and behind in others. Hmm. Nella used to tell me a story, you know, when I was little. It was about another world, one very closely connected to our own. I always imagined it was just a fairy tale, but I suppose there must have been some truth to it after all. So I got lost between these two worlds and wound up here? Does that mean there's no way home? What did you do there, in your world? I was... a king. Connie! What? Uh, well, a president. It's kind of the same thing. Which means I have a little experience when it comes to running a country. Oh. Really? Then perhaps you might be kind enough to share some of it with me. Things may not be quite the same here as in your world, but still. What exactly are you planning? Quiet life in the mountains might not be such a bad idea, you know. Not exactly. I've made up my mind. I'm... I'm going to keep my promise to Nella. I'm going to build a kingdom where everyone can live happily ever after. You are, huh? Hmm. Good for you. I've made my mind up too. I'm staying here, in this world. With you, Evan. You are? Oh. And thus, young Evan, though heavy of heart, resolved to honor the dying wish of his dearest friend by becoming a king once more, and Roland sensing something special in his youthful companion decided to join him on his journey. Was that Tom Hiddleston? Chapter 2 The Kingdom to Come If I'm to become a king again, I'll need to convince a kingmaker to help us. A king. Yes, a monarch must have the power to serve his people. A kingmaker is a magical creature blessed with great power. By bending one to his will, a king proves that he is worthy to lead his nation. Huh. So it's a mark of authority? Yeah, teeth marks by the looks of things. Yes. But not just that. It's also a guardian. In times of need, it can come to the nation's aid. A single kingmaker has the strength of an entire army. Is that so? I'm guessing they're pretty big. Oh yes, some are the size of a castle. Well now. You don't say. And you mean to tame one of these things? Wait a minute. You were a king until just recently, right? Shouldn't you have one of these kingmakers already? Not exactly. Well, my father only died a month ago, you see. We hadn't quite got around to that part yet. So, I was never a true king. Not really. Mm. If the ceremony had gone ahead as planned, I would have, I would have my kingmaker by now. But of course, it didn't. Hmm. I wonder what's happening with your kingmaker now that you're out of the picture. Hmm. That's a good question. Oakenheart, Kingmaker of Ding Dong Dell, 
has recognized me as the rightful ruler of this realm. I stand before you, your new king! I see. So, in all likelihood, Mausinger has taken control of your Kingmaker already. Yes, which means I'll have to find a new one, a new Kingmaker for our new kingdom. And where do we find one exactly? There can't be too many of these things. I think we might have a chance of meeting one if we visit the King's Cradle beyond Cloudcoil Canyon. Huh? The King's Cradle? Mm. It's a holy place where a Kingmaker is enshrined. Every kingdom has one. So if a kingmaker happened to be at loose ends, we could visit them at their king's cradle and try to convince them to sign up with us. Exactly. And if the stories are true, there is a kingmaker in the place I mentioned which has yet to be claimed. So what are we waiting for? Let's go. Alright. Ah, one moment. Evans Essentials unlocked. Okay. Hmm, that looks familiar. Hmm. <laughs> Now I can fight beside you, Roland. <laughs> well, alright. But take it easy to begin with, okay? Okay, the party menu. The party menu can be accessed from the main menu. You can use the party menu to decide who will take part in battle and who will who you'll control first in combat. This will be what whoever's at the top of the list. Alright. <laughs> yeah, that's um the, the Cape Ollie. Well, it's very similar to the Cape Ollie, the main character from the first game war. Uh, right, so yeah, we're okay there. What's this? Oh! Look, a trip door. Huh? What? A trip door. They're found where the energy of the land is especially strong, mostly near, near landmarks. If you touch it, it will sort of remember you, and you can return to it whenever you like. Okay, cool. Not everyone can use them, though. You need to know a certain special spell called Travel. Luckily, Nella taught it to me. Thank you, Nella. So you're telling me you know how to teleport? How come you didn't use this spell of yours to get out of the castle? Well, as I said, you need to have visited a trip door in order to travel back to it. And, well, I've never really spent much time outside the castle until now. In fact, this is my first trip door I've ever seen. Huh. Of course. Well, let's visit as many as we can from now on. These things are sure to come in handy. Yes. Let's. Shall we begin by having this one remember us? I think that's an excellent idea. Okay. You'll find trip doors dotted all over the world. Simply walk up to one and press X to have it remember you. Uh, when you have a trip door remember you, it'll be added to your trip door map, allowing you to travel back there instantly from anywhere in the world. You can access the Triptor map by opening the map menu with options and then pressing options or by simply holding down options. Shall we try it? There we are. Cool. That's our world map. I don't know. I always loved uh, world maps whenever I started games like these as a kid and still now. So what have we got? Oh, that looks like trouble down in the uh, southeast, doesn't it? Otherwise looking pretty cool. Okay. Alright, good. Oh, uh, no, let's just go back. Okay. So, uh, let's have a look at the party menu to. There we go, party. Uh, yeah, we'll try Evan out, see see what he's like. But, um, yeah. Well, I have no. Uh, oh, I should probably try and see if I can equip him. Ah, here we go. Can we equip. We can equip him with the same stuff. Okay. Right, well, this changes things somewhat. So, let's kit him out. Yeah, so I think we'll go for that one there. What have we got here? Hmm. Got any with other abilities? Yeah, so we'll give him that one. Uh, and then lastly, we'll probably just go for the next one. Another Cutlass. Yeah, okay. He's got the magic wand. Interesting. What, uh, what skills have you got? All right, King Spin, a nimble spinning attack that deals damage to foes on all sides. Okay, good one, we're surrounded. A searing ball of flame is conjured up and hurled at foes. Conjures up a ball of water that is then hurled at enemies. Okay, cool. 
All right, so he's got a few more. He's going to be, looks like, more of a magician type uh, character. Okay. Uh, yeah. All right. Okay, walking into an enemy in the field will cause battle to begin. Sure. Wow, wow. <laughs> okay, that's <laughs> uh, quite interesting character models there. Can we get a closer look at them? Not really, but alrighty, that's, that's what we're going with. So, let's have a look at our menu here. Our map even. Alright, what have we got? Wow. Okay, so it looks like we need to go to one of those bridges in the northeast of our... Uh, visible area there. There's a good outlook up to the left there. But we can't get there yet. Don't know what that purple thing is. I'm guessing it's something rather dangerous. So I think for now, as we're uh, just getting our feet on the ground, we'll keep it relatively straightforward. So let's, uh, let's give this guy a go. Okay. Watch your backs! Oh, nice. Alright. I hope we still get all that stuff. Ooh, a wrinkly old cloak. Just what I've always wanted. Uh, let's have a look at it, though. Uh, what do we want here? Yes. Uh, it's not as good. Uh, yeah, okay. So let's grab this chest. Okay, 100 guilders, alright. Do we, what should we go up here? Or mm, we need to go this way, really. So I think we'll save uh, proper exploration once we're a bit, uh, a bit better kitted out. But we are going to be fighting stuff. Get in there. Let's take this one out then. Let's try. Ooh, let's try a. Oh, we've only got that one. I, might, I think I need to equip my other uh, skills there. Okay. So let's, uh, let's do that. How come I couldn't see the... Ah, because it's by the weapon, right? Okay, so let's try that. So let's uh, swap to that one. And we'll try it on these Whamster Bangers. Let's have a look here. Yeah, I see Watch there. Your Yeah, there we go. All right. So let's give that a try. Oh, okay. Let's try it on you. Oh, that's good damage. Okay. I, uh, I, I really like this battle system. I mean, yeah, it's such a good idea having your um, physical attacks fill up your magic meter. Because normally, I remember in the last one, sort of holding back on doing magic stuff because you never know when you're going to be caught in a situation where you need the MP. But this is, yeah, I'm liking it. I'm liking this a lot. Uh, if you couldn't tell. Uh, there's a settlement over there or something. Should we go check that out? Let's have a go at this hedgehound first. I want to try this, uh, ooh, they look a bit dangerous. Let's try, uh, ooh, let's try that one. A bit of ice. Yeah. Ooh. Come here, you. One more. Uh, I should be targeting as well. So I got it there. Okay. Alright, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's fun to fight with too. Might go back to well, I'll, no, I'll give him a fair chance. Um, Evan here, then I might switch backwards. You ready for this? <laughs> oh. Okay, so 
So yeah, heavy attack seemed to be better there. I don't know, as soon as I saw that um, square is light attack, triangle is heavy attack, I was uh, got my Witcher head on, you know. So it's a bit strange with the um, evasion there, because you have to hold L, uh, you have to be moving and then press L while you're moving. Whereas to just guard you have to, you press L first and then without having the, the directional stick in any direction. Cool. What's happening here? Hmm? What's going on here? Uh oh. What did I ever do to you, I ask? Oh, you rotten devil of a thing, you! <laughs> Evan, mm -hmm. come on! Alright, some monsters can fly, making them tricky foes to deal with, as it won't be possible to hit them with regular melee attacks while they're in the air. They'll need to be brought low with mid-air attacks, which can be formed by unleashing a regular melee attack while jumping. Alright. Uh, ranged attack from range attacks from guns, wands, etc. can also be useful in this situation. Certain skills are also effective against airborne enemies. Come on! Does that be like this skill? Thought it might be. Uh, how do I fire my? Oh, I should have blocked that. Okay, we got him on the ropes. Get down here. Ah, it's coming back. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Gosh. What in the Oh you two? You can see my little lovelies, can you? Why not have them lend you a hand? Okay. Alright. Uh okay, during battle. Higgledies will automatically back you up by attacking, defending, healing, and performing various other actions based on their type. Okay. Sometimes I'll give you the go-ahead to issue special orders that will uh, that will see them perform incredible super-powered skills. Just run up and press X to activate them. Certain other Higgledies will allow you to absorb them by holding down the button for your character spells and abilities, thereby uh, changing and improving the their effects. Okay, you know to absorb them by holding down the button for your character. Okay, so you have to do R2 and then whatever button. Uh, you can check how many Higgledies of which element will be necessary to enhance a skill in this way in the Equipment and Skills menu. Okay, experiment, find some killer combos. Alright, so where are they? Higgledies? Oh, there they are. How do we, how do we do this? Uh, go, 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 go. Are they coming? Oh, that's them. Wow. Are they? Okay, they're a cannon. They've turned into a cannon. Of course they have. <laughs> no, you're dead. You are dead. Gotcha. Alright. Excuse me. Are you all right? Oh my. Oh me, oh my. That was a close one and no mistake. I don't know what I have done if uh, I don't know what I'd have done if you two lovely boys hadn't come wandering by. I'm Martha, by the way. Auntie Martha to those I take a shine to, and I am pleased to say I've taken a shine to you. Come on then, we're going to my house. I must give you a little something to say thank you. Okay. So that's what they are. Higgledies. Right -o. Here we are. It's not much, but it's home. In you come. No. Okay. Oh. 
Yeah, I'm kind of making the same face. Thanks ever so much. You two really did save my bacon back there. I never expected to see a wyvern so close to home. Honestly, a girl can't even go out picking herbs in peace these days. Uh, so, these little creatures of yours, are they monsters? Oi! You cheeky so-and-so. No, they are not. They're, well, they're more phenomena than anything, I suppose. Phenomena? That's right, dear. There's the wind, isn't there? And fire and rain and such like. They're all natural phenomena. And when those phenomena decide to grow heads and legs and start running around being adorable, they become higgledies. So where are you off to when you got waylaid helping out old Martha anyway? We don't often get visitors round these parts. We were on our way to see the King's Cradle beyond Cloudcoil Canyon. <gasps> no, really? Just the two of you? Going into that den of despicable sky pirates? Huh? Sky pirates? We have to. Well, no. Have to, dear. Absolutely, positively have to. Mm. Absolutely, positively, yes. <laughs> well, in case you better take some of my little lovelies with you. Mm -hmm. Really? You really don't mind? Certainly. It's the least I can do. You show me that you'll treat them kindly, the best and best of all, that you'll put them to good use. Thank you. Very much, Auntie Martha. I'll feel a lot better with these little guys backing us up. Wonderful. And if you ever have any questions about them, you just come and ask me, you hear? Yeah, sorry, that's about the best uh, regional accent I can do. Yeah. Uh, Runcible the Righteous has decided to join you on your adventure. Welcome aboard, Runcible. Right, uh, okay. Higgledies can be selected and their parameters checked via the party. Let's have a look at this. Uh, Higgledy selection happens in the party menu. You can only have up to four Higgledy heroes helping you at one time. So come here to pick which ones will join you in battle. It's also rumoured that special bonuses are available to those who can put together sets of Higgledies with certain things in common. Alright. Should we have a little look at that? Uh, wait, where was it? Was it here? No. I, uh, nuts. Um, let me see now. Can I get that up again? No, it's gone. Okay. Uh, I uh, well, they do have a picture there, so I wonder if it's... Okay, here we go. An in-depth look at Higgledies. Higgledies have two basic parameters, feistiness, attack power, and hardiness, defense. The feistier, the more damage they'll deal, and the hardier, the less they'll take. These two parameters will increase as they level up, but this doesn't happen by winning battles. You'll need to build a certain special facility in your kingdom instead. Higgledies also have specific personalities that need to be taken into account. If you have a shy Higgledy in your party, you might need an aggressive one to help balance them out. Another thing to bear in mind is your Higgledy's skills, from the ones they perform automatically to the ones you can trigger yourself, to certain awakening specific abilities. These will be triggered when a party member enters the special state known as Awakening, which you'll learn more about later on. You can uh, take a detailed look through all your Higgledy's skills and abilities by cycling through the pages with the triangle button. When picking Higgledies, you'll also need to bear in mind the cost of adding them to your party. Each Higgledy costs a set number of points to add, and you can't exceed 10. Okay. So, that's... Let's have a look at Runcible the Righteous. Uh, okay, so we we'll cycle through that. Okay, so... Uh, scrap, Scrap, There, There, Higgledy Boom, and Sonic Tonic. I guess that's his abilities. I'm getting a bit of a Pokemon feel here. Okay, here we go. This tells us what it is. Scrap, scrap. Uh, imparts a slight boost to the power of regular attacks. There, there. Restores a small amount of HP to an ally. Higgledy boom. A cannon is brought in onto the battlefield and used to blast the enemy. Okay, so that's what we saw. And Sonic Tonic. Bo Sonic Tonic. Boost the chance uh, of the player emitting shockwaves when awakened. Okay. I, uh... 
I like it. Cool. All right, good. Uh, can I take any of that? This guy looks pretty cool. Can we, can we take some more? Is there anything you'd like to know about my little darlings? Just go ahead and ask. Uh, how do I befriend well, Higgledy? Nice. The easiest way to befriend a Higgledy is to find yourself a Higgledy stone. If there's one of them near, if there's one of them nearby, a Higgledy hero is sure to come along and help you. You'll usually find them lying around in dusty old dungeons. If I were you, I'd make looking for them a top priority. Of course, you could also try brewing up a batch of Higgledies in a cauldron, but I don't think you're ready for that just yet. Okay. Seems seems fair enough. Can we, can we t talk to these guys? Okay. Yeah, get in the... Uh, you're not going to be saying very much, you guys, are you? Okay. Alright, well, uh, Martha, it was lovely to meet you. You, uh... You take... Cheerio. So that's them down in the bottom right there. That's a higgledy. Ah, ah, what, oh dear. See that up there? What have we got? That's a trip... Trip door, right? Ah, great. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Hmm. So we need to be going over those bridges down there. I am guessing we don't want to be going up there. Let's have a look at their levels up there. Yeah, level 9. Okay, so that's a fairly clear sign. Do you reckon I can just steal this? Ha! Oh. Uh-oh. Okay, I think we got away. Right, going to have to be careful about that. So... Hmm. So these ones are, oh, that looks a bit tough as well, level 8. So when we have a look, have a go at this Wampster Pranger. Here goes nothing. <laughs> ah, right. Let's try a, I need to try one of these. Okay, so that's our long range ones. Hey guys. Not really necessary, but why not? Turn on left now. Okay. Oh, cool. Uh, that's uh, all right. I like it. Okay, so we need to go over one of these bridges, don't we? We've got a level four goo. Let's give that a go. Come on. Have to learn what these little symbols are next time we down there. Let's, uh, let's go have a look down here, see if there's anything tucked away in the corner. Like that treasure chest. Careful, everyone. All right, a bit of a tougher one. Okay. Good, good. Is that it? All dead? Alright. See that? Out in the water. Three hundred guilders. Okay. Look at this place. Ha! Ah. Okay. Right, let's get across this bridge then. Ah, so these these um, shiny things seem to pick one up, but they seem to respawn pretty quickly. Say, I hope you don't mind me asking, but your ears are they real? <laughs> yes, they're real. I'm half half Grimalkin, you see. Okay, huh. interesting. You don't get many Caddy kings where I come from. I'm pretty sure you got quite a lot of cat people in Japan, though. Um. What was I going to talk about? Yeah, that's it. Ooh, Grotty Grotto. I'm not No, 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 no. I, the, I've played the odds. Uh, I've played a few JRPGs in my time. I am certain we will be going there in the future. Okay, good, good. Um, yeah, that was it. The, the last game, 
there you go to Ding Dong Dell, it's fairly, you know, it's a bit of a hub. And there was, I don't know how far, this is, this is the same world, clearly, but I don't know the, the time difference between the first and second one. Um, but the king of Ding Dong Dell then was a big cat. I don't remember his actual name now, but you know they always refer to him as uh, your Meow Justy and stuff like that. Because well, what else are you gonna call the Cat King? Uh, so I wonder. I wonder if um, I wonder if there's a, a relation there. A half Gamolkin, So I wonder what the other half is. And let's best. not get into the <laughs> logistics of that. Huh? Let's have a little check. Okay, we're not far off. A little red dot over there. I wonder what that is. But I think we're just gonna we're gonna head to our destination for now, and we'll do some serious exploring. I, want, I bet the levels pick up pretty quick over that way. What's that? Oh yeah, that looks a little strong for us. Oh, that also looks a bit strong. Huh. Okay. Ready for this? That was pretty good. Oh, that, level, that was level 8 though. Okay, I think we could probably hold her in. It's probably using these guys more. Using the, uh, the lovelies. That's where we need to go, right? I wonder if it's trying to lead us somewhere else. Well, oh, there's, oh look at that. Ah, that's... Is that Blue Kingdom over there? I wonder if that's where we came from. Okay, so that's level four. What's one of these guys passed here? Number four. Number five. Hmm, okay. Ready for this? Oh, well, took a bit of a quite a hit there. Oh dear. Have to heal up a bit here. Oh, still one left. Oh dear. Let's, uh, we got a bit back. Let's heal up a bit here. See how this works. Yeah, saw away. That's probably what we want. Oh, okay. Stores a little HP. Got us pretty much back. Well, did get us back to full, but almost from empty. So let's have a look at these levels here. Three. Yeah, this looks alright. So I wonder why it's. Hmm. It's just trying to make us explore. Oh, wow, I see all the red dots there. Alright, let's go have a look at them. Let's take on this guy. Come on! Oh, there's a lot of them. There's a lot of them. They are pretty strong. Oh, where's the Litleys? I'm gonna call them Litleys. Okay, here we go. Okay. Yeah, so it's the guards over there. Is there a door down there too? Hmm. Wonder if that was the uh, where the sewers took us out and we just went up there. No, it can't have been. 
the doors up there in the hills there where we started, wasn't it? Still got a bit of practice to do on the meetings of these battles and how best to go about them. We'll get there though. So it's that way we want to be going, right? Ah, there's a trip, uh, trip door. Let's go. What level are they, I wonder? Can we see? I must probably be changing my weapons around too. Okay, so that's level 10 now. It's looking more like it. That was level 10 as well. Okay. Oh boy. Here goes okay. nothing. Oh man, I should have healed up. Can I do that mid- Okay, you just press that and it brings it straight up. Okay, so let's do that. Cool. So you press the touch pad mid, mid battle and it just takes us straight to here. That's that's really nice. Okay, cool. Let's uh, get back in there. You get a lot of uh, a lot of loot from the battles, eh? Okay, you guys are getting a bit strong too. You're all looking better. Okay, so uh, no wrong one. So yeah, we want to be heading up there, straight down that path to those rather large-looking skeletons. So let's do that. I'm wondering why the quite semi-automatic, isn't it? Why my weapon had changed, I mean. It's because we're in semi-automatic, that's why. Watch your backs! Come here, you. Oh, just missed him. There you go. I can remember to use those guys. Well, the battles are over pretty quick, so... Alright, we take on these in level 9 well now. Let's just try and go straight through if we can. Oh, you see me. You have. You ready for this? Okay. I like that attack. Get rid of that one. Good. Who's left? You. Is that it? Okay, that was a level 9 one. That was not too bad. Uh, so, where are we going? This way. Anything up on here? Oh, there is tucked away down there. Arrowhead Karen, okay. Come on, you hamster pranger. I'll do my best. That's a really fun one when you got a big uh, a big group of them like that. And you just uh, jump into the middle and unleash that whirling fire thing. That's pretty cool. 
Not very cool, it's very cool. Alright guys, come on. Get in the back. Oh, yeah. Too slow. It's very nice. Okay, we made it. Cloud Coil Canyon. So we have to make it through this valley to reach the king's cradle, huh? Mm. Y yes, and that's not the only challenge we face. The king's cradle is at the other end of Cloud Coil Canyon, on an island near the heights. Uh -huh. So we'll need to find a boat too? I'm afraid so. But we must worry about that later. First, we need to make it through the valley. Alright, well. Okay, so... We have finally made it to Cloud Coil Canyon, and next time we'll make our way through. Till then, take it easy.